Hey, how you doing today? Welcome back to RV Away. Sorry, I have to squeeze out of my door when I have my awning out. Because <coughs> it kind of get blocked. Actually, it's ripped right here because the corner caught it. This corner, but they put a wheel on it so it slides, kind of rolls now. And they put tape on the corner so it doesn't scratch. But yeah, it's previously ripped as you can see. Um, in this video, I'm not too sure what I'm about to be talking about, to be honest. I'm on lunch break and I don't have a video for today. <coughs> but I owe y'all one, I guess. And um, yeah, I don't have a microphone or anything. I still haven't kind of got everything out the pop-up. I kind of been coming in here for my foil. I put two covers in here, so I always have something. Like I said, I wanna I'm gonna start going camping more often. Probably I ain't gonna promise anything. But it might be a bi-weekly basis, something like that. I still gotta get these curtains out, bro. They're annoying and they stink. And so yeah, I think that I think it comes, like I said, with these little screws right here. They're kind of like pinched in. I think I need to pop those bad boys out and get that out. Also, something I realized. So I was telling I was talking about hooking up water a water hose to this in the camping video. This is a pump system, like a water pump. So I'm pretty sure you fill up a tank and then you pump water through there, like with that hand pump. And I think the thing I showed you guys last time, this thing right here, I think this is a drain. I don't think water goes in. I think drain water comes out. Maybe I'm maybe I'm incorrect, or maybe I feel the <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 look. So water, this is my drain. I think this is the water drain. And um, yeah, that might be the water intake actually. So that might fill my water tank. Then I'll use the pump handle to pump it up to the sink and it'll drain out of here. Yeah, that's the water, that's the water line back there. I feel it, not a water line, the little waste from the sink. Okay, so the wastewater comes out of here and the water goes in there. See, I'm always learning, bro. As I'm showing y'all this, trying to teach y'all something, I learn something. It's always teachable moments, I tell you what. This gotta go somewhere. Also, something I realized, I need to keep this stuff somewhere like central and I can't really keep it inside. So what I'm thinking, I've seen pop-ups that have like storage, like on the side. I'm thinking about maybe building a storage container like on the front of here maybe somehow i can probably do that and like leave the propane tank inside of the storage but you know maybe widen the frame or something or put a little support but i kind of want to put a storage bin right here so i can hold all of my outside tools like i said normally rvs have like side storage or something like that until i do that i'm probably going to use like a bin like this so i have uh i have one bin like that and yeah i'll probably just have to move some stuff around and use that to keep like my crank in and a lot of other little stuff like uh, my stove, blah, 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 blah. Stuff can also be stored in here pretty correctly if you do it right. So like my trumpet, the music, uh, record player, the fan, as long as it's under the bed level, it should be able to fit because you know, the bed is kind of where the top is, kind of how the sink flips down. So it's under the bed level. As long as you can put things in here under bed level, you can travel with it. You know what I'm saying? You can pile it all in there, put the bed over the top of it, close it down. But, but it's a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? If, I, if the stuff is on the outside of the trailer, if I don't have to like open it to get the things, because when this door, when this top goes down, the door wants to stay closed. So yeah, pretty much trying to get some outside storage on the pop-up. Is one of the main things on the list as well as like i mentioned this is an outlet for an ac it says it right there at the bottom ac outlet blah 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 so i'm thinking about taking this thing out putting the ac in up there which shouldn't be too hard i mean it's four screws blah 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 so just be able to get the dimensions and even then if i have to cut it water i'm pretty sure i've seen people do that ac installations still um next thing on the list also is gonna be this stupid door that's annoying shouldn't be that hard though i should be able to just move the knob closer i don't know why i be talking about this stuff like i'm not right here to be able to show y'all i just gonna want to move this knob closer to the edge because then it would catch this maybe or maybe i just take both of them off and redo the whole thing so i got a couple little clip magnets and stuff like that in my in this camper but i don't know i'll probably look into some different door mechanisms or something like that maybe who knows I may just buy a whole new doorknob and just get a better system you know um hopefully the wind isn't too bad it's a couple of things i'm just thinking of of the camper like i said i don't really have too much of a video plan today i'm at work 
I took a nap yesterday that went way too long. I was supposed to make a video last night, but yeah, my nap became sleep. So that was a L on my part, but yeah. And on top of that, kind of how I put the pro, like, I, like over the, over the camping trail, I was able to put the propane on the side of the thing and just run that, run that hose to it. So I don't even feel like I need to have this, the propane up here. Like I said, I feel like I could just use that for storage. That might be my plan. Also, somebody said that this goes to the bed. This thing right here goes to the, yeah, this metal thing goes to the bed. I tried that, but it doesn't, it doesn't make sense because these are, these flat ones are in a fixed position. And since they're like fixed like that, they can't go up here. They can't like, they're not at this angle. Cause I was thinking, cause these move, these are on a pivot. As you can see, these move the round ones on the end. So I was like, maybe those go in here that are supported, but I just don't see how, unless they used to be slits back here like this, maybe these, maybe they had some of these little brackets over here that broke, maybe, you know, I have no clue. Somebody, somebody said that and I just couldn't see it. I know it don't go to the very back. I know that's for sure, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure where it goes. I just, yeah, I just can't see any points of where that would go at all. So yeah, if y'all have any idea, well, I'm pretty sure there's a manual in here somewhere. I had a VCR tape that was inside of here actually. And it was supposed to be like everything about pop-ups or something. I don't know where I put that thing. It was the one thing I wanted to keep up with and somehow it's the one thing I can't find now. But see, they have like an operation, maintenance and service manual. So I'm gonna get into that when I start doing stuff with like the electric and the wheel bearings. Oh, it shows the front bed set up right here. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Talking about it, here go the front bed set up. Okay. I guess I'm gonna try it. It kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. Well, that's cool. So I guess the next thing I need to do is take all these papers out and look at them. <laughs> so I know what I'm doing. So just guessing my way through it. So... <laughs> It's so goofy. So yeah, it is for the bed. So I'm probably gonna have to push the bed in when I get off. I'll just probably push this bed in when I get off and reset it up the correct way. And I'll show y'all that and maybe I'll show y'all that in tomorrow's video. How does that sound? We will get some things figured out. Yeah, we'll go through the files. We'll go through the deep undercover files. <laughs> That's all for me today. Sorry today video wasn't that eventful. Uh life isn't always a party, you know? Sometimes it's just you know the normal day to day. But yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for sticking around. If you did stick around for this, that's pretty cool. I love you. That's all for me today. RV away. Finger hearts. Out.